connect Walmart account. On the WordPress dashboard, hover or click on the Set Commerce menu and then click on the Walmart sub-menu. This is the configuration page of the plugin. For integration between the store and Walmart, you need to fill in the API keys. You can get or generate the API keys on the Walmart developer portal. After getting API keys, you have to fill client ID and client secret in given text boxes respectively. And you have to choose an environment, either production or sandbox, if you want to manage products and orders on a live Walmart account, then choose production. And if you want to manage in test mode, then choose sandbox. After that, you have to hit the update button. So it will save API keys and then hit the validate button, which will check whether your API keys are valid or not. You will get notified by a success or failure message respectively. Global settings. The next section is global settings which provides all the configurations related to product and order sync. This section is further divided into three subsections, product, order, and crons. In the product subsection, the first part is the search product custom fields and attributes. This will help you to choose the required meta key or attribute on which the product information is stored. These meta keys or attributes will further be used in product export settings for listing products on Walmart from WooCommerce. Enter the product name and keyword and the list will be displayed under the select the meta key or attribute using the checkbox as per requirement and hit the save button. The next part is product export settings where you are allowed to enter the details of the products which you will be exporting and which is further divided into four subparts product specific price specific shipping specific and orderable specific in product specific you can fill in the sku product title description and product brand and you can also select the identifier type from the drop down and fill in identifier value in the text box for Walmart. But make sure these attributes will be applied to all WooCommerce products. You can also select a custom field or attribute from pick value from custom field or attribute drop down. In price specific, you can fill in the price and you can also select increase price by from the drop down and fill in markup value in the text box for Walmart. But make sure these attributes will be applied to all WooCommerce products. You can also select a custom field or attribute from the pick value from custom field or attribute dropdown. In shipping specific, you can fill in the package weight and Walmart fulfillment lag time. And you can also select shipping templates and fulfillment center from the drop down for Walmart. But make sure these attributes will be applied to all WooCommerce products. You can also select a custom field or attribute from pick value from custom field or attribute drop down. In orderable specific, you can fill in the floor price, PPU quantity of units, and multi pack quantity, and also you can select PPU unit of measure, electronic indicator battery technology type, chemical aerosol pesticide, ships in original packaging, must ship alone, product ID update and SKU update from the drop-down for Walmart. But make sure these attributes will be applied to all WooCommerce products. You can also select a custom field or attribute from the pick value from custom field or attribute drop-down. After that, you have to hit the save button. The next subsection is order, where you can use the Walmart order number instead of the WooCommerce order ID, while creation of Walmart orders in WooCommerce by doing the toggle on. 
Also, you can attach a prefix or string in the Walmart order ID. While creation of Walmart orders in WooCommerce by using text box and hit the save button. The last subsection is Crons, where you can also fetch Walmart orders and create in WooCommerce by doing the toggle on. Also, you can auto update price and stock from WooCommerce to Walmart by doing toggle on and then hit the save button. Category mapping. Here, you will need to map the WooCommerce store categories to the Walmart categories. Select the WooCommerce category on the left side and you need to choose the Walmart category from the drop down. A list of Walmart categories will appear in the drop down. Select the Walmart category in which you want to list the products of the selected WooCommerce category on Walmart. Once you map the categories, profiles will automatically be created and you can use the profiles for mapping the Walmart category specific attributes with your WooCommerce store attributes. Profiles Here you will see all the profiles created after category mapping. For mapping attributes, edit the required profile using the edit option under the profile name. After hitting the edit button, you will be redirected to a page where you will be having some attributes. Search product custom fields and attributes. This section will help you to choose the required meta key or attribute on which the product information is stored. These meta keys or attributes will further be used for listing products on Walmart from WooCommerce. You can fill in the values in the text boxes and select values from the drop down. And you can also select multiple custom fields or attributes from the drop down on the right side. And hit the save profile button. You can also delete profiles by selecting the checkbox placed before it. Selecting delete from the drop down and hitting the apply button. Products. Here we will explore the product section of the plugin and Walmart attributes at the WooCommerce product level. You can edit any product list by clicking on the edit button and can edit any profile in the profile column. After editing any WooCommerce simple product, you can find the Walmart button on the left side of the product data section and fill in Walmart attributes at the product level. And after editing any WooCommerce variable product, you can find the Walmart attributes at the level of the variation. For each variation, click on variations on the left side of the product data section. Now expand any variation scroll a bit down and find Walmart attributes. You can filter products by Walmart status, category, stock status, and product type. You can choose from the drop down and hit the filter button. Here you can perform multiple operations like upload or update of products. Update price, update stock, update shipping template, remove shipping template, and retire items. For any operation, you must select the product using the checkbox on the left side of the product list column and select operation from the drop down and then hit the apply button. You will get a notification for each performed operation. You can perform operations either on a single product or multiple products using checkboxes. You can also search for products by name and can do pagination according to your need. Orders In this section, all fetched Walmart orders will be displayed. Here you can see some columns like WooCommerce order, order items, Walmart order ID, customer name, order status and action. You can manually fetch Walmart orders using the fetch orders button. Also, you can enable the auto fetch order feature in global settings. 
You can edit any order for more actions by using the edit button. Then you can also send tracking information and submit the shipment by filling in the tracking number, tracking URL and ship date by clicking on the submit shipment button. An order will be marked shipped on Walmart. In the WooCommerce order section, you can recognize any Walmart order by Walmart icon. Shipping template The shipping template is to be used for products while uploading on Walmart. Here you can see some columns like shipping template ID, shipping template name, and shipping template status. You can also delete any shipping template by using the delete button. You can fetch shipping templates and fulfillment centers that you created on Walmart by using Get Updated Shipping Template and Fetch Fulfillment Center buttons respectively. You can also create a new one by using the Create New Shipping Template button and then the Standard Template button. Shipping settings are set up with multiple custom configurations, flexible transit times, granular delivery regions and reports. Insights Here you will get an overall insight into your listings and view your progress toward becoming a pro seller with the listing quality percentage and unpublished item status of the listings. For fetching and updating data, you can hit the Update Inside button. In the Become a Pro Seller tab, once you click on View Progress, a window will appear with your pro seller status. The window has all the essential criteria and your progress for each. To help you with what comes under the listing quality, the View Breakdown button will further differentiate several touchstones like content and discoverability, offer, rating and reviews, and post-purchase quality. You can use the unpublished item count to determine why items are unpublished and how many items are unpublished for each reason. Feeds Here you can check the status of the feed after uploading the product on Walmart or after updating the product inventory or the product price. You can also delete any feed by selecting the checkbox placed before it, selecting Delete from the drop-down and hitting the Apply button. You can view the details of your uploaded feed by clicking on the View Details button.